Yeah. Say hello. Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey Jim, it's Girl Mr. Mima, and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog. <laughs> um, child, listen, I mm -hmm, the girl has been working today, okay? Today, woke up early, edited a video to go out today, uh, did my face, filmed a reel, edited that, had a photo shoot, um, had packages sent out, uh, I'm about to finish the caption for the reel that has to go up today too, and it is only 3.56 p.m. Y'all, oh. <laughs> When I tell you, oh, like I have been working, working since six. Like literally, I got up. I didn't even wash my behind. I literally got up, went straight to the computer because I said, if I don't start this right now, <laughs> chow. And when I finished editing the video, I went to take a shower, brush my teeth, all of that. Um, your girl has been working. I've been working. I've been working. Okay. Um, excuse me. I was hoping to get some of this done yesterday, but yesterday was just, it wasn't working out. It wasn't working out for me. Um, let me go ahead and respond to this email. Y'all, y'all interrupted me. See, I didn't vlog all day and I got so much done. And now look at y'all right now. Interrupted me. Now I'm not focused. Now I'm not focused. <sighs> y'all. Okay, let me send this email and I come back. Because y'all in my business and y'all stop talking to me. Dang. Good morning, gems. Um, you know, I just moved. I just moved. So I know it's going to take time for me to settle in. But I feel like every day I find something that makes me miss home more and more. Like, I just tried out a new Zumba instructor and it was not giving. <laughs> it wasn't giving, y'all. Oh, I miss my workout routine. I miss my fitness uh, routine that I had back home. <sighs> y'all, I'm very particular about... Um, my Zumba, I'm very particular about the music, the choreography. Like I, I don't want my workouts to feel like a workout. Or let me not say that because I do want it to feel like a workout. Like I want to feel like I'm pushing myself. I don't want my workouts to feel like it's work. That's what I don't want. Like it should be fun. I should enjoy my workout because it's hard enough making myself leave my home sometimes, but like, when you're not enjoying what you're doing, it's gonna be 30 times harder. And I, listen, I don't need nothing hard in my life, okay? No more. I've had enough hard to last me a lifetime, okay? And I, I really, I really was hoping that this Zuma class was gonna give me what I needed, and it did not. So I need to look up other workout stuff, like, my ideal Zumba situations is gonna have a lot of like Caribbean integrated into it. But even if it's just like all Latin music, like if the choreography is popping, if I'm getting a good workout, if it's a good vibe, I'm still with it, you know? And it was just, it was a lot of dance, like not pop, like house music. I don't know. It was just, it wasn't giving at all. I just left in the middle of the class. I'm gonna go home, switch to my bathing suit. I wish I had brought it with me. But yeah, I'm gonna go home, switch to my bathing suit. Then I'm gonna come back to the gym and swim a couple laps. Like times like this, I wish I could just swim in my own pool. But it's freezing. 
and I legit like I just want a good workout like oh, like what was that oh my god she looked good though the instructor had a body on her let's talk about it like she was thickety thick 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 I was like damn maybe I should stay in the class if I want to look like her <laughs> oh she looked good she was caked up yammed up period but it just it just wasn't my vibe all right y'all let me go home and change all right so quick switch into my athletic swimwear <laughs> um pack my gym bag and we are on the way it is so much easier to dress for the pool when you're only going to the pool like I'm already in my slides. The clothes I'm wearing to go is the clothes I'm gonna wear to come back. I just brought like my towel and stuff. It's so much easier this way. But anyways, hopefully I have everything. Um, yeah, time to head back to the mother freaking gym. Well, we went to a different gym this time because the one I just came from was farther out. So I'm gonna go to the local one to use the pool. Later. Okay, so um, I got my nails done and it wasn't a terrible experience. So I think I will, I think I'll be back. So I don't know if they do like designs and all that. I just got white on the nails and feet again. Um, the actual acrylic application went well. The shaping went well. Um, and overall, I'm I'm content. So we'll see. It was like weird. So um, I wasn't even like about to stress myself out about it. Um, I was just like, whatever. I just need to get it it done because um, I hit my nail in the shower, <laughs> and. It was already starting to lift, but it was like really lifting and it was like hurting and I kept hitting it. So I was like, no, I need to get my nails done expeditiously. So I keep saying that word. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and take a picture. Damn, I don't have a cute background, but it's just got to do. Yeah, and I really wanted to vlog it because y'all know I love like my therapeutic nail vlogging sessions. But while one lady was doing my feet, she was doing my hands, so literally, like they got me out of there in an hour and a half no yeah an hour and a half um nails and feet so i don't know i'm not mad at it i am not mad at all um but i'm getting ready to head out i have plans Jamima's making friends. She's going out, meeting people. Um, and you know, you know. <laughs> so I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I was planning to figure out my outfit beforehand, like a couple days ago, so I could avoid this stress of trying to figure it out on the day. Did I do that? No. So um, yeah, I need to um, update my iPad with work plans before I forget and then I'll start getting ready and then we can look for an outfit together um listen when I tell you I'm obsessed with this robe <laughs> this like skims velour robe Ugh, like it's not the cutest situation but it feels good it feels great and I feel like I don't know if this is meant to be worn around the house but it's giving my new like house cardigan. <laughs> so listen, don't drag me if y'all keep seeing this over and over again in the vlogs. Also, can we can we get into the lighting setup though? Y'all, I brought back the OG um, lighting stands. So I used to use these smaller lights two apartments ago to light my um to to light my workstation slash makeup desk and all that and i had upgraded to bigger lights that i was using 
Um, but yeah, I felt like it was perfect to condense this little makeup slash office area. And I'm very happy with it. I also got another ring light um, on Amazon. It was like on sale, so I got it for like, I think the normal price was like 109 I think I got it for like 89 or something. I think it had like a coupon and then I had like a little gift credit thing left over. I don't know, but I made it work. And so I just, I really like the setup. And so I filmed, what did I film? I filmed my Nordstrom anniversary video at my desk. So I just brought my camera, positioned it and all that. And I was like, I really like how this looks. Um, the lighting is pretty white, but the video came off very warm, but I like that. But I don't really know. Maybe it was the color of my shirt that was like altering the light a little bit. Um, but either way, I really like the warmness. And so I think the next video I film, I'm going to make the lights warmer. Um, but I'm just like, even like the vlog right now, like, I like this. I like it. And I put this little dusty plant behind me. I'm just like, you know what? It might be time to let her go. I got her Adidas discount for like, was it like 60 bucks? And you know, little by little, she lose her leaves. <laughs> but something in me just can't let her go. And like, there's so many cute like plants on Amazon. Um, oh shoot, that I can get. But I just, I feel, I'm just, I'm just not quite ready to part with her just yet. Like maybe next week. I'm not ready for her to go like I'm not ready and I feel like she was cute in the video <laughs> but yeah so I'm like you know I feel like this is this is gonna work this is gonna work and I'll still be able to film like little reels and stuff here but also get makeup done um and I think I picked the right desk to kind of organize everything I don't know. I'm just really happy with how this room came out. So I'm debating if I want to do a room tour um, and list out where I got everything and maybe a little bit more detail as to why I got certain things. Um, cause yeah, cause at first I was looking into the PAX system and I was like, baby, is there a cheaper option? First of all, it's way too much measuring and stuff. Like, it looks beautiful. And I feel like that's something I would invest in um, when I have my home, when I purchase a home. And people are telling me, oh, you know, you can have like closet systems built, blah, blah, blah. All that is great, but I'm renting. And especially when I'm trying to move out, the last thing I wanna do is have to dismantle or take anything down. Like, oh, I hate, but I'm ready to move. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to get out. Um, and so I don't want anything that I have to break down, dismantle, nothing. Like even these bookshelves right here are a little too good. <laughs> a little too sturdy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, who gonna lift them up when it's time to move? Okay. So we'll see. But for now, this is working. It's working. It's working perfectly. So, um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna do an official, like, room tour if you guys notice i didn't do like the final reveal um at the end of the last video where i started making the changes um so i think i'm gonna save it for that but I, feel, I feel like you guys see it anyways but just to have an official video where you can find all the details on the links to all that stuff um yeah and i feel like maybe maybe i'll upgrade the plant we'll see we'll see how i feel um and then i'll, I'll film the video yeah, I'm still waiting for a couple things to come in to finish like organizing. I want, I mean, there's still a couple things I want to do in here, you know? And for the filming room, I could just leave it as is because it's really just for work. I don't actually plan on spending time in there. Um, and so it's perfectly fine the way it is now. It's just not cute. But I kind of want it to be cute. And so I'm debating if I do want to kind of like zhuzh it up just a little bit. Just to make it a little bit more of a pleasant experience when I'm in there. Um, but yeah, I'm still thinking about that. Um, <sighs> yeah. Like I'm going to put up some art pieces here. But my fear is that there's already so much going on in this room. If I cover up any more wall, 
it'll close the room in even more. Like I really want to hang my um, vision boards that I've created like a couple years ago. Because, I mean, besides the vision board aspect of it, it's like really cute. Like I, I, I took my time with them, okay? I took my time creating those vision boards and I've never actually hung them up. I think I hung one up. But like, it's art. And I think I'm thinking about hanging them up above the perfume, just like staggering them, which, you know, I could do. But the only thing is, there's not much room for growth. I mean, I guess I could start. Am I gonna do a vision board next year? I don't know if I am, honestly. I just feel like my goals are really the same every year. They're just bigger. But this, the core of the goals are still the same, you know? So, I just feel like they're, they're always relevant. Anyways, I'm rapping. Oh my God. Like what? Um, yeah, let me uh, take five or ten minutes to knock some work out. And then um, we're going to find an outfit and get ready. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so that took a, a little longer than planned. Um, Y'all, buying this iPad was really it for me. Like, the day they can make Final Cut Pro work on the iPad, it's a wrap. It is a wrap, but um, I did a lot today, but I still didn't finish everything I need to do. I really be putting a lot on myself to like get certain things done. And it's just like, Jamima, first of all, but I feel like I just, I need to, I don't know. Like right now, okay, I'm right, okay. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, y'all. Okay, so. 20 minutes behind schedule, but you know what? We're just gonna push through, we're gonna rush, and we're still gonna make it on time because that's what we do, okay? That's what we do. So, I wanna be comfortable, but I wanna be cute, but I wanna wear heels, so am I really gonna be comfortable? Hmm. Not making sense. I really want to wear one of my Tia Rablu. Wow, I've never actually tried to say that out loud. Actually, no, no, I did. Did I say it out loud in the hall? Um, I'm not sure, but I could wear this with jeans. No, I'm not wearing jeans. I could wear with leggings. What is this? Okay, as things fall. Actually, I have some like, I have like velvet leggings. Ooh, do I really want to wear velvet leggings? I don't. <laughs> I absolutely do not. But low key though, <gasps> low key though, it would go pretty well together. <gasps> oh my God, I saw these cult Gaia heels on Nordstrom. Um, they're part of the anniversary sale, I believe. And they're in navy. How cute would that be? They're navy with a gold heel. Um, they're like little kitten heels, because y'all know me. Um, like with a gold bag. <gasps> Maybe I should have gotten them. I just didn't want to spend two something on them, but... Maybe I should. Because I actually don't have navy blue heels. Mmm. Because why is this, like, actually a vibe? I mean, well, I, I could wear, like, brown. I could wear clear. But, actually, this is not, this isn't thick at all, actually. Wait a, wait a minute. No, it's a little much, though. It's a little much for a little weekday uh, shebang. It's a little much, but I'm going to have to revisit this because this is something. In fact, I'm going to hang this up on a rack outside because that, I'm going to have to revisit that. <laughs> That's low-key something. Um, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to scare off sus uh, by me being extra. Because, baby, that's that's going to be a look. Well, I hope it is. Because sometimes you imagine things and then it's not what it is. Um, But I really would like to do something like off the show. Actually, no. Because I'm still healing from 
a rash that I had on my neck. I didn't really talk about it, but I've been putting cortisone on it. And it was like all around, but it's healing pretty well. Um, I also have been like rashing underneath my armpit and I mentioned it a long time ago and it's never like healed since then. Um, I've been trying to use like different body washes to see what the issue is. And I, I think it's my Lumi deodorant. <laughs> and I'm like, how did I like develop a, an allergy? Like after I've been using it for so long, but we in a panini press, I don't wear deodorant in the house when I'm in the house, you know, I only wear it when I'm going out. And so I think wearing it consistently to go to the gym is when the irritation really just kept popping off because I didn't have any like downtime in between applications. So dang y'all. And I love me some Lumi y'all. I love me some Lumi, but, um, my armpits just don't agree and I'm so sad about it. I'm very sad about it. I'm still team Lumi. I'm still a Stan. Just not for me. It's for y'all to enjoy, but my neck is healing pretty pretty well it feels really good um but yeah the only body wash that's i've noticed when i use it my armpits start to clear up is a necessary body wash Ugh. first of all it's because of necessary i even like am hyper focused on skincare in body washes like it's not that deep where i won't use a body wash if it doesn't have skincare elements to it like niacinamide collagen uh vitamin c etc etc but Necessary really like amped it up for me and especially now seeing that my body responds to it so well and you think like it's just a body wash is it really that deep but yes yes it is so I'm about to stock up on that um I kind of wish I did that during the Sephora sale but my brain wasn't here I have a couple bottles here no <gasps> I had one that was almost done girl I put water in it shook it up I still have the one that Jenny gifted me um and i have one that purchased that should be coming soon but yeah the necessary body washes have been doing it um y'all know i still love my olay and stuff but because it's so fragrant my arms are just sensitive right now so i don't want to use anything that's gonna like irritate it even more um i want to give it time to kind of like reset get back to normal before i start using anything else underneath it um but yeah the necessary does have fragrance the one i like has fragrance eucalyptus um but it doesn't bother. Like, let me tell you, when I use it, I see a big difference in my armpits. Like, I have been struggling. Oh my gosh, Jamima, get dressed. Jeez. Uh, talking people's heads off. First of all, nobody care about your little dusty armpits. Dang. Oh my God. <laughs> I just pissed myself up. Okay, like, I was trying to get dressed. Y'all are distracting me. Y'all can sit here and wait for me to come back and do my makeup because uh, I can't with y'all no more. Just talking my ear off. Sit, sit here and be quiet.
so I'm getting ready to head out now. Y'all, I was struggling with this outfit. Listen, <laughs> this shirt is textured. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's slightly textured. But just that little bit of detail. <laughs> But just that little bit of detail just like impacts what you wear with it and just the texture on the shirt gives more of a it's not a sleek vibe and the look i was going for before was more on the sleek side this is more like i can go more grunge with this or more like straw bag situation like you know so it wasn't giving what i thought was gonna give um and so that's why i was struggling so much but yeah, so I just hit her up. Um, you guys might know her actually. She is a fellow YouTuber. And um, y'all like, y'all know when I be saying I'm running late, but I'm really just running late to being early. Not today. Uh, not today. Um, oh, I feel like, why did the time go up? Oh, so we're gonna get there at the same time. Uh, no, I'm for real late today. But also, I didn't realize it was so far. Away. No, it wasn't this far. Something is not adding up because when I checked the distance earlier, it was about an eight minute difference. I feel like at least six. So I don't know where all this extra time is coming from. But, anyways, um, I'm about to play some music and I'll see y'all when I get there. <laughs> So the spot that we were going to originally ended up being closed. So we're at a different spot in Midtown. Um, hopefully it's good, but either way. I'm gonna have a good time. Ooh, child, I need my hair cut. I'm trying a new barber tomorrow, so in the meantime, it is. All right, child. Let's go. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. Art, art, art. Wow, the front camera low light. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So now.
Say hello. Hey. It's giving a thumbnail. Girl, it's giving. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Show people the games. I'm not here. Oh. oh. Oh my god, okay. It's so separate. That whole speech. I'm not really tipsy though. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. What you feeling, sis? But I don't know what to call it. See, that's how I be jealous. Like, I don't feel nothing. I that's why I need a drink. I don't need a drink. But I'm not drunk though. You I'm not my tap for no reason. You got some good leggings. Wait a minute. Girl, Girl who, who, Why not? who in a tag? Why not? Check the tag. Check the tag. Who the leggings are these? Vince. Oh, motherfucking Vince. Nordstrom? Period. Okay. Okay, Vince. Girl, yaddy yaddy. Yaddy yaddy yaddy. Hey, girl, all right. Let me slides. Girl, okay, let's see. All right. Let me come down a walk. Girl, I'm going to say, oh, my God. Dude. Oh. Not the sliding for me. Girl. Not the sliding for me. <laughs> What's so slippery? Wait. She said you gave me that whole steal. Are you good? I gotta clean up here. Oh, okay. Ooh, Girl, now I'm just about to take my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Look how I gotta walk out of here. I can't. Girl, what? This is like. This is perfect exercise. Lord. Okay. Them got that de goddamn uh, hill. Girl. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can do. My feet hurt. And we were sitting down. Can you imagine? <laughs> Why is it so big? Oh! I love that white background. Oh. So I am on the way home. Dinner was great. I made a new friend. Shout out to Victoria for asking me out. <laughs> um, and parking was 30 damn dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Atlanta, that's what y'all on? $30 parking. Okay. I said I have to work overtime so I can afford to go outside over here. Like, how did I pay $30 parking in DC? Um, not for a restaurant, maybe 20. I feel like not. 20 is usually like the max. And that's what I was prepared, you know, to, to pay. But 30? Get out. Absolutely ghetto. Zero out of ten would not recommend. <laughs> but I had a really good time. The spinach was good. The cabbage was all right. The jerk, chicken, egg rolls were all right. But I really like the spinach. That was the highlight for me. We had some tequila shots. Smoked the hookah. The hookah was popping. Like even the the smoke was hitting different. I said, okay. I see you, Atlanta. That Atlanta hookah hitting different. Different. So, yeah, I'm about to go home, wash my face, take a nice, steamy, hot, but quick shower, and hop in the bed. We got an early morning tomorrow. An early morning tomorrow. Yeah. Shout out to me. Finally be outside. My first real, no, I didn't go to Mojave. Well, I, I wasn't living here then. So my first real restaurant experience living in Atlanta. Like vibes, like getting cute, going out type of thing. Yeah. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> All right, good night, y'all. Later. <sighs> oh my God. Ooh. Good morning. Um, I've actually been up for a little while, but I laid in the bed because child, I, <laughs> my body just couldn't move. Like, I didn't go to bed until like three. Um, we had one out pretty late last night, so. Um, 
I was like, damn, did I go out? Did I party? Because <laughs> that's what it felt like. Um, I took a nice little shower. And you know, my armpits are clearing up so nicely. Like, I don't know what it is about the necessary body wash, but like, it is literally saving me right now. Um, so I need to make sure I, I order a couple more. Cause baby, it's it's giving. Like, I posted a a, a story on Instagram after my shower. Cause like, <laughs> well, if I'm me, I'm a I'm a stretcher product. And so my body wash is like almost finished. And so I had like kept trying to put water in it and shake it up to make it last longer. I did that three times. And so I'm just like, all right, Jamie, but like, get another one at this point. What is actually your problem? Um, yeah, you know, I don't know what it is about this. Like I know it has like multivitamins and stuff in it. I just, I don't know, but like I've been using that in like a soft, um like ride to shower so i said let me just chill off the the net for a little bit until my skin like relaxes and chills um but it's just it's been doing the damn thing y'all like my arm is like really bad like i don't know i still can't believe that it was like reacting to the movie like that but um like i've been trying to deal with this off and on like y'all remember like since the old spot i'd be like oh like i really like have a rash like what's going on um, but yeah, child, my armpit was like, girl, we done tried to tell you time and time again, stop using this. We don't like it. And girl, I was like, ooh, do, 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 me, do, 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 do. Um, but yeah, it makes me so sad because I really do love Lumi, but it's just not for me. But oh my God, the body wash has been, like I can't even believe, like even my, I've been putting corners on all that stuff, like nothing is clearing it up like the necessary body wash. I don't get that. Like over cortisol? That's wild. Anyways. <laughs> um, I'm about to switch out my bed sheets. And guess what I got? <laughs> my bed, hold on. Um, I ordered some Brooklyn and sheets because um I want the luxurious bed experience and i'm just like listen i've been trying to find quality sheets like y'all see me um and i'm just like you know what jamima <sighs> insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results okay one thing about me i'm insane <laughs> one thing about me i'm gonna try a couple times <laughs> um but yeah, I need to figure out where to place y'all because I don't have anything in this room. Hold on. But um, yeah, so I'm about to change my bed sheets. I just threw all the stuff from my other purse on the bed last night. Um, so I just need to do a little clean up. But I'm super excited, y'all. Like, I just feel like I'm really in, like, my grown woman era. And in the just enjoying my life era as opposed to the struggling and trying to survive era. <laughs> um, and just learning to be okay with enjoying it. Because I feel like right now... I am struggling with not being seen the way I'm used to being seen. Um, like, I feel like now that I'm a little more secure in certain ways in life and it's more evident, people don't view me the way that they used to. And while I didn't particularly like the way they viewed me before, it's what I knew and what I had grown comfortable with. And so now that it's different, I'm just like, ooh, like this is, mm, 
and then the different doesn't necessarily have the best connotations either but at the end of the day like i just don't need to be worried about that like you know i don't know if that's making sense but i'm not gonna explain any further <laughs> like either you somewhat get it or you don't i don't know i don't know like what's the point of talking about something you're not gonna explain it to me i don't know but basically the point i'm making is i just i need to learn to embrace where i am currently and all that comes with it and to learn to be okay with embracing it because um it doesn't always feel like it's okay actually it almost never feels like it's okay <laughs> um yeah and so i feel like i have to actively work on that until it feels like it's okay you know so yeah i'm just like you know what you like I want to enjoy certain things like I want to enjoy my bed and so yeah I'm gonna try some Brooklyn and Cheeks <laughs> like the girls beds like are plush and I just okay so I didn't grow up with duvet covers y'all didn't see me y'all am I in a break bruh okay, anyways I didn't grow up with duvet covers um like I, I just it wasn't in my house um I I know I heard of them and I feel like in the most recent years, <clears throat> I've kind of like understood the concept of them, which is basically a pillowcase for your comforter. And I just, I never got it because, let me not say I didn't get it. I did, well, no, that's true. I didn't get it before. And just the idea of putting a pillowcase on a whole comforter is very daunting to me just because of the fact that I struggle with my pillowcases. So when I think like a huge comforter, I'm like, how are you putting on something on top of that? Anyways, so I get it though, like being able to switch out the top layer, being able to switch to different looks and still keep the same interior, being able to um, change how the cover looks without having to get so many different comforters. Like I get the concept, I get the point, I get why people do it. Um, and so I think I'm going to try it out because I like that. I would like for my comforter to match my sheets without having to have a comforter in every color, you know? I don't know if I'm saying every color as if white hasn't been the core of my being for a very long time. But anyways, I got me some Brooklyn sheets. Um, I don't remember who's, was it a sale? Did I use somebody's code? I don't remember, but it came in this box, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna do the duvet cover today. I saw a video briefly on YouTube about like a hack as to how to do it like easier. And so I'm gonna go and try and find that video and then do it later. But I do wanna put like the base sheets on because I feel like, you know, I deserve to sleep happy. I deserve to enjoy my rest, okay? And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. So I'm so excited. Like I'm a Brooklyn girl. Uh, I'm gagging. Where is my box cutter? All right. These scissors just gonna have to work. Ooh. All right, y'all. Also, my search for a bedroom set. Well. <laughs> I can't even say my search because I haven't been searching. It's just I know exactly what I want and Until I find that I'm just like bruh. I'm even scared because I was thinking about getting like temporary nightstands But uh, I don't even want to do that because I'm like what am I going to do with it when I do get my real nightstands, you know? Like I really want a um, Oh, I forgot I bought this. Um, so I also ordered their all-purpose bleach alternative. It's fragrance free. So I was like, I want to try this and see um, how I like this. Add one capful to hot water and pre-soak. Okay, boost whitening and brightening. Add two capsules to the washing cycle detergent. I will absolutely be doing that. I can't wait to try this. I really hope it works, y'all, because I really have been trying to figure out how to keep my whites like super bright white. And I know that they said that you can counteract the effects of bleach with like the blue dye situation, 
But my question is, how how do you know when to add it to the rinse? Like, I'm not about to stand at the washing machine and wait until it says rinse and then run the drop of the dye in there. Like, that's a lot. <laughs> and so, and you have to be very careful with that because if not, you will ruin your clothes, okay? So I'm just like, I haven't really been messing around with the blue dye too much. Um, I tried adding the dye before I put the clothes in and stuff. I feel like that doesn't really do anything. Um, but I don't know. So I'm, I'm excited to try out the Laundress All Purpose Bleach Alternative. I really hope that it works out. Um, so I feel like that would be excellent to help me to maintain these sheets, baby. Baby. Now, I only bought one set because I said I want to try it out. But um, I like to have multiple sets just so that I can spread out the wear because, you know, it is white. Um, I also thought about getting a colored set. Um, I've been obsessed with colored sheets ever since I saw Kyra's bedroom. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I love that mustard. Actually, because I, well, I really want a bed set that matches my mirror. And I really, I was like, that's actually the color of Kyra's bed. Because I want something that's neutral, but it's still going to pop. Like, I don't want to do cream. I don't want to do anything that's too, like, you know? But I don't want to do anything that's going to be too on the other side either. <laughs> so I thought about doing the color, like doing like a hunter green or doing like, you know, something or black or something like that. But I'm just like, I don't think that's going to age well with me. And while I want something neutral, I don't want it to be like too light either. And so I feel like the perfect balance is going to be something that works with this room. Because this room isn't white. It's like a pure taupey color so I wanted to work with this room but also work with any future rooms that I have because maybe this bed for the last okay <laughs> it better last and I find like the perfect color right now is the color of my mirror um it's like a dark taupey color so I feel like that would be perfect because even if I decide to switch the color of the sheets or switch the theme of my room it's bold enough that it stands out, but it's neutral enough that I can switch the colors and the accents and all that stuff. So right now, I'm still fine with the white sheets, but I do I do want cream sheets. I feel like that would be really nice with that color headboard. And I keep saying bed. When I say bed, I mean like headboard. And I don't want just a headboard. I want like the whole platform. So I feel like it looks nice when you, you know, it's, it's just nice. I don't know. I'm just very particular about what I want. Like, and I want the, um... All right, so I'm going to tell you what I want. <laughs> okay, so I want like a dark taupe platform bed, a queen that holds at least 800 pounds. Because I need to make sure I can do whatever I need to do on the bed. Listen, I don't want no smoke with no beds, okay? So at least 800 pounds. 1,000 is what I was looking for, but I said 800 is it's what I seem to find. Um, and I want horizontal tufting um and i don't want it to be too short either i don't really like the short headboards but i don't want it to be too long either you see why i have issues finding a bed right now um and then i want it to somewhat pass the actual mattress i don't want it to be lined up exactly i'm never gonna find a bed at my <laughs> yeah i'm so particular about what i want but it's what i want it's what i want and until i find what i want we're gonna do the psychiatric uh, ward bedroom style. So, cause I actually really like this too. Something about walking into a bare room when everything else is chaotic, like it just, it's peaceful, you know? And I want my bedroom to be peaceful. Now, yeah, I thought about getting like temporary nightstand just to have something to put like my um, Alexa on. You and my business. Put my speaker on and um, like my phone and stuff like that. Cause right now they're on the floor and I I hate that. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys the color of the mirror. Hopefully I remember. But if I move the camera right now, child, I'm moving it back. Jeremy, stop being lazy. Just show the people. All right, fine. So you guys see the color of the mirror, like I feel like it's the perfect pop against 
the lighter walls but it's still neutral like I can do white I can do black I can do creams I can do a color like I just I like this I like this color I just can't find what I'm looking for and the dimensions I'm looking for with the weight um, capacity that I'm looking for um, and child, I haven't started talking about price but yeah so I want what I want okay that's what I want all right let's put these sheets on sheets that fit because my mattress is a little on the thicky thick side <laughs> like her mama okay oh wow period oh my god wow perfect freaking fit oh like why why have I been torturing myself with um sets from like Ross and stuff like and it just it never works out and so I just end up using them for a little while and then throwing them out and I'm just like <laughs> I finally have a sheet set that I can keep for freaking ever oh uh, wow literally perfection love to see it see now this is I, I'm, I'm understanding the the steam your bed situation when it's sitting right and you can knock out the uh, the wrinkles, and it's just looking like hotel. Am I the move for all that today? I'm wilding. I need to get ready for the gym. I'm over here talking about that sheet. Yo, I'm so hyped. Wow, this fits literally perfectly. Oh, I'm definitely about to get rid of all the cheaper jumps I have. Cause baby, like they don't do it. And even the ones that I, I was getting from Target, those are the best fitting ones, but then I didn't like how they were like made. Um, and it's just, it wasn't giving. But this, <laughs> not sponsored by the way. Um, no, honey, I just, listen, one thing about me, I'm gonna be influenced, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna be influenced by anything that has a, a return policy. Cause if this didn't work out, baby, I would've sent that y'all right the freak back. No, but why does this literally feel like a hotel bed? <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna use a duvet cover. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna wash my white my white down thingy, and then I'm gonna put the duvet cover on top. Oh my god, I love it! It's a flat sheet. I only use flat sheets, but um. I just I like the, the least amount of work possible for the bed the least yes oh I'm so happy I'm so freaking happy wowzers like literally y'all can go to hell Jamima has upgraded her life here you okay Jamima and I'm in your life how about you actually try them on the flat sheet for once Stop being lazy. God damn. God damn. God damn. Y'all, I'm so excited. I love this for me. Oh my gosh. Wow, you know you're an adult when this is the things that <laughs> excite you. And I just want to say, I love how easily it just kind of like fell onto the bed and adjusted itself. Um, hello. That took like three minutes. Oh my god, look at it! Look at, look at me! <laughs> look at me! I am changing! Okay, this will be better, but you know, y'all get the, y'all get the vision. You get the idea. Yes! 
with my heavy AF head. I also like to put my whole body on pillows, so that's why I deflate so easily <laughs> and so quickly. Is it giving hotel? Is it giving W? Is it giving Earth calls and darling? <laughs> Jimmy, let's give me closure robe. I'm about to go lay down. I'm about to go lay down. Go lay down, go lay down. Then I like to go in with some kind of like fabric spray and just spray over it. Makes it smell so good. And your sheets always smell like they just came out the laundry. Love that. Especially if you don't like washing your, your laundry with uh, fabric softener to preserve the fabrics. I don't give a damn, I'm gonna use it regardless, but I get why people don't. <laughs> but one thing about me and mine, we gonna use it. And we still gonna spray afterwards. <laughs> but all right, y'all. Let me get dressed and hit the gym. I'm gonna see y'all later. Oh, sorry, I just put in my eye drops for my uveitis. It's like burning a little bit. But anyways, um, gym fit, 11.30 set, Fabletics shirt, so I was putting deodorant on. Y'all, I went back to the cancer sticks. Um, since I can't find a natural one that works for me right now, and, and I'm a little scarred by, you know, the reaction from the Lumi, I'm back to, back to the cancer sticks. Yeah, I was a little scared that these would like irritate my armpits too but so far it's been fine like between these and um the necessary body wash and the cortisone uh honestly i don't want the cortisone doing anything the cortisone was helping my neck though for sure um and i feel like the neck rash came from this necklace um because usually when i put on and i always get everything is sterling silver based um and so I put a necklace on and I leave it on. I'm trying to remember where I got this from because I feel like maybe they, maybe they lied about it being sterling silver based. And that's why when I left it on, it was um, creating a rash. It was like a ring around my neck. Um, and then it was also like, so it was around my neck and then it was like a dot right here. So I was like, I don't know if that's from like where the J was hanging. I don't know, but I'm just, uh, when my neck is all the way healed, for the most part it is, um, but when it's all the way healed, I'm going to go back to wearing my Hamza necklace and just leave that on because that, I had no issues with that necklace. But once I switched over to this and left it on and on and on, I had it on for like maybe a week, a week and a half. That's when I had issues. So I need to go back into the archives and figure out where I got that from because somebody lying. <laughs> um anyways yeah i just dropped the cap to this love that for me oh <sighs> i need to clean this room up i need to clean this apartment but we'll do that later yesterday was <laughs> the past two days it was just a lot in general and i'm wearing that shirt backwards <laughs> uh, i want cream tube socks here we go gym fits of the day. Okay. So I got my hair cut. Um, I have to dye it when I get home. Well, I'll do it later tonight. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt because my scalp is irritated from the cut and the clippers. Not looking forward to that, but I hate when you can see the new growth underneath it. And I also didn't want to keep it because 
I left the um you know when you have overly processed hair because you know I bleach on top of bleached hair so the tips were like overly processed so then when I did like my purple shampoo the tips stayed purple <laughs> I mean you couldn't really tell like on camera and stuff but I didn't like how it looked in person so I just had her cut it all off and um I will za it um tonight oh. hello Hello, Hi. darling. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I was like, I never called me. Like, I'm gonna think like something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. But yeah, so um, I just had a quick lunch at Kale Me Crazy, and I had like a a quinoa power bowl and a green shake. And the the, the quinoa bowl it looked really good, but. Uh, like, there was no flavor to it at all, y'all. Like, nothing. Like, I wanted something wholesome and fresh, so that's why I wanted to come here. But, I mean, they could have did a little something. Like, the chicken was cold. They kind of just heat up the chicken. You know? It was just a little too wholesome for me. <laughs> a little too fresh for me. Um, but I definitely like the concept, though, and I think I'm going to try it on my own in the house. So, at some point. Um... Because it had potential. It just, you know, missed the mark. But you know, it was probably like uh, super healthy. You know, when it tastes like that. Uh, okay, so, y'all, it is midnight. That's why my room is a mess. I just threw that out on the floor. But I have nothing left in me to give tonight to anything. Work, clean, life, nothing. Um, so I just finished filming a summer accessories video, which <gasps> will that be up before this or not? I'm not sure, but either way, I just finished filming that video. I'm super excited about it. I was rambling per usual, um, <laughs> but, um, I had some really great things in there. Um, most of which you guys probably have heard me talk about at some point or another. Um, but you know, it's giving, I need another trip, baby. Cause I was recording. I'm just like, dang, I need to go on vacation. <laughs> but yeah, so I am winding down for the night. I just had a delicious salad from Kava. But then my kava, I think it's the sug. Something I get in my salads or my, my, my bowls just leaves a very strong aftertaste. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it's good while you're eating it, but I don't want to keep tasting it. Like, Oh, and I had their blueberry lavender drink. Um, lemonade. I'm not exactly sure, but anyways. I am winding down, but I don't want to go to bed without, you know, coming to say hey to the gems. Let y'all know I'm still alive and kicking. Marley. Marley. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, got a lot done today. Um, I had to switch up my schedule a little bit when I got my nails done yesterday. Um, and then the freaking <laughs> guy canceled... Y'all Atlanta barbers. Mm. So I'm going to try somebody else next week. I had to go back to um, the same person. Because um, she was available. But um, yeah, I, I definitely need to find somebody else. And the thing is, I don't want to drive too far. Because that's going to dissuade me from going. <laughs> but I feel like I'm going to have to travel. Like, for a travel to find a decent barber. And it's going to be pricey. But because I've been using like um, some of the apps to find barbers. I was like, some of y'all work is not giving the price that y'all are charging. And Anyways, I'm tired of complaining about my haircuts in these videos. So I'm just going to shut it. Anyways. Um, yeah, so this room is a mess. I'm just going to take some time to clean this weekend. Um, I'm just going to try and not think about it until then um it's pretty late now hopefully i can still wake up at six tomorrow morning 
Um, I might try and like get some cleaning done then. But actually, no, I'm not because I have a lot to edit tomorrow. I have like deadlines and stuff and content I need to submit. So that's, yeah, this, this apartment is going to be a mess until, um, <laughs> until late weekend. But, oh, shoot, my phone's, hold on. But yeah, oh, I'll show you guys the, um, the latest update in the Casa. So I installed a new shower head in my guest bathroom. And I call it guest bathroom, but oh my god. That just almost whew, heart attack. But I installed a new shower head. One thing about me, I'm going to update my shower head. Like I have always like since I was in college, maybe. When did I start uploading my shower heads? I don't know, but I feel like it's such a... Actually, I need my contact case. Hold on. Oh, not the... Okay, y'all about to... Oh, shoot. Bad about to die. Let me show y'all real quick. But the boy I was trying to make is upgrade your shower head. Okay? These are like little luxury things that you can do in your life, your everyday life. You got to shower anyways. You might as well make it a spa experience. Okay? Go ahead and splurge. Spend 50 bucks and get a Fire AF shower head. Not the camera about to die, goddamn. But yeah, this y'all gonna be lit. I'm about to take a nice little shower and then go to bed. Good night. <laughs> I had a cute little story plan. I'm about to do a little story time. A little pep talk about how you should luxuriate your life and the mundane activities. Baby, the camera about to die. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Not me forgetting to close out the vlog. <laughs> Y'all can't see me, but um, I'm in a bed. <laughs> um, all I did was like work today, so it was nothing really exciting. And um, I kind of got some bad news, so I wasn't really in the mood to chit chat. So that's why y'all kind of saw me angrily eating my food. <laughs> um, I made jerk salmon and I heated up some of that um, quinoa brown rice mix that I got from Walmart and steamed some frozen broccoli and that's what I had for dinner. The jerk salmon was actually really good. Like I kept it simple, just a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. Um, I had like a, I also added garlic herb seasoning and then I added like a couple tablespoons of the jerk uh, sauce that I also got from Walmart and um, it was my first time having it and it was actually like pretty freaking good so um I think I might make some more <laughs> next week um it was definitely good but yeah so my brother's friend came over um was just chopping up before he um went home so I mean not that special but I was like, dang, I completely forgot to pick up the camera. But anyways, that is it for this vlog. I'm sorry that y'all can't see me. Actually, I'm not sorry because eh, I'm nude. <laughs> I'm nude. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. And I will see y'all in the next one. To the loo. <laughs>